The strongest tornado in Allen County last Friday was rated at an EF2 with peak winds of 120 miles per hour. And one poultry farm in eastern Allen County felt the full force of that twister as it moved through last Friday night. But as quickly as it moved out or moved out of the area, the support moved in. You could call it the power of God. It took about 30 seconds. What took seconds to destroy may take months to fix. CV Poultry in eastern Allen County was one of the hardest hit areas by last Friday's tornadoes. The National Weather Service rating the damage to their barns and houses at the EF2 level. Mr. Loniger, who's Amish, who asked us not to show his face, says once the warnings went off, his family took shelter in their basement as the twister moved over their farm. Yeah, we didn't know what happened. We, we heard a lot of noise, sounded like a freight train. There was a crackling noise, loud crackling noise. And it sounded, it sounded like the house had fell to pieces, basically. Once it was over, they went to see the damage, seeing it was worse than what they thought. Over 40,000 chickens either injured or killed, their barns destroyed, and their livelihood at risk. Obviously, financially, it's very important. Um, it's, it's, our, it's our chores. It's, uh, it's what we base our lives around. It's what we do all the time, seven days a week. So very important to us. All the young birds were definitely in, in no bad shape and we was, we was devastated. But as quickly as the twister moved through, neighbors, family, friends and strangers from up to four hours away came in to help. This happened about, like I said, 11.41, roughly a quarter to 12. And by one o'clock, there was probably 150, 200 people here. And those hundreds of people have worked for the past six days to take the remnants of the barn away and help the Lonikers rebuild. Loniger says while the tornado caused more damage than he imagined, he's more impressed by what manpower and a sense of community can do. They were very thankful. Um, give God all the glory for that. It's amazing. And like I said, if it happened today down the road, we'd probably go help them. So. And Loniger says while the barns may be finished soon, it could take up to 12 weeks for his family's farm to receive chickens and return to normal operations.